Get ready to see some team glass blowing. I have never seen this before. Right now we are watching David Patterson, glass artist, uh, start to open the ball into a bowl shape. We've also got uh, Eric Covington and uh, Paolo Bastianello. He's a glass blower from uh, Murano. They're going to be working together to create uh, something pretty interesting. So uh, Eric, where did the idea for team glass blowing come from? Where did the idea for team glass blowing come from? This is a standard way of doing glass blowing. It's been here for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's when you have to do a more complicated piece that involves lots of color and uh, lots of heat, and generally speaking, bigger pieces because a glass blower can only handle so much at one time. Right. So what is Paolo doing right now? Paolo's picking up what's called a hot bit with color on it. And so he's going to melt, right now he's melting in the yellow color that David's going to trail around the outside. So that we have to have to wait for Paolo to get the color melted and we'll be ready to go. Right. And how many pieces that are offered here in the shop are made by more than one glass blower? More than half, I'd say. Really? Oh yeah. Some, some glass blowers really like to work alone. Some people require working in teams. Uh, some do both. And what do you prefer? Uh, I think I prefer team blowing partly because it's more sociable. Now here's Paolo lifting up the color and David delivering it to David and David is controlling how it gets applied to the glass. Wow. So really are reliant on each other. So now you'll be now picking I'll be up pick, some I'll color be as well. I'll up some color next. I'll do my best to stay out of your way. Yep. It's a bit of a, of, of a dance here. So this is one of the most interesting things about the uh, glass blowing place here in Alexandria. When you come to the shop, you can not only enjoy, uh, enjoy a coffee and take a look at some of the finished products, but you can actually watch the glass artists at work through the glass doors that they have here at the back of the shop. So why is the red glass finer than the blue and the yellow? It's just a choice of colors. This gives you a more intense color. The You get a sort of a chunky color out of the yellow and the blue. So now I've got, I'm picking up the red, which is going to be the next color, and then Paolo will pick up the blue after that. So now does each person have a different role? That's right. We've already pre-set what we're doing here. And so I'm, I'm going to be the one bringing this color. I may bring David to the, to the knockoff box so that he can put the piece in the annealer. Okay, and the knockoff box is, is exactly what it sounds like. When you're finished the piece, you bring it over and tap it off. That's right. That's right. So this is the hot, hot red color going on. Mm -hmm. Paolo just put on the hot yellow, and then he's going to put on the hot blue after that. Eric, how hot is the glass right now? This is 2,200 degrees. Mm -hmm. And you only have really 30 seconds. Moments, yeah, before it, it hardens, right? That's right. So what will this end up being? This will end up being a, a bowl or a vase. You can see the basic shape right there now. Mm -hmm. It's just we're putting some extra decorations on. Right. Later in the show, we will head into the coffee shop. Uh, they've got not only the finished glass blown pieces in there, but you can sit down, you can have a coffee. They've got jewelry making classes that are going to be starting as well, uh, along with uh, various painting, a uh, stained glass. They pretty much offer it all here. It's uh, going to be a major tourist attraction this summer for sure. So head to the glass blowing place website to look at all of the information. This is, uh, this is remarkable. Stay with us. We've got more coming up on CTV Morning Live.